So there's where I just scrambled through. Uh, you can see the ore cart right there and the uh, power box. And we've got drift running off this way. You can hear a bunch of rushing water back there. Um, that one looks fairly extensive actually. Um, coming around this way. That's a light bulb. Uh, coming around this way, we've got this flooded uh, drift here, which looks really nasty, but maybe not very very long. I'll uh, I'll try going through this a little ways. Oh man, uh, I might just go to right there because this is up to my waist. Oh my god, no, no way. I just sunk up to my chest in mud. I'll do a lot for you guys, but not this much. All right, well there's that horrendous section right there. And that's where I just went up to my chest in mud, no exaggeration. Almost went over the top of the waders. So I am not gonna go through that. I really don't think you're missing anything. I think that just runs into the, uh, the bottom of those other stopes we saw. I really don't think, that's a big deal. And you're not, you wouldn't see anything anyway because the mud's so deep, anything in there would be buried up way above it in the mud so that's it for that one and again there's that work cart now let's go look at this much more promising section here i think i can see some rail in the water too which would make sense because they would have uh hauled the work carts over to that that winch and hauled them up Yeah, there's rail down here, right there, and a pipe. So if we have another winds on the right here, where all the water's running down. Yeah, this is that rushing water running down there, and there's a. Uh, one of the levels above us. And, man, we got leveled all the place. There's a level there. There's a large stope here. The track running off this way. It hauled out a bunch of stuff here. You can hear my voice echoing probably. That's because they hauled out all of this. I think we looked over to there a moment ago. And I've got something running off that way too. Unbelievable. I'm gonna go right hand rule down here because uh, this would be an easy one to get lost in. Okay, here's the, um, I think, yeah, there's some stairs. Rusted, very rusted stairs going down to that lower level, and there's some stuff right there. I can't tell if that's a stove or what that is yet. Pocket cleaned out there, and God. so this is what we were looking into a moment ago. Just an absolutely enormous, enormous stove. We looked in over there, and let's see, there's a level up there, there's a level there, and there's a level there, and of course, just gigantic stope room here, um, got rail running off that way, got rail running off at my feet here, and it just opens up into even more chambers here you can see a giant pillar right there and another drift going off that way and I thought this might be the end but it keeps going so I'm gonna go back because I'm sticking with the right hand rule oh man uh, look at that track up there suspended in the space that's that's just wild Okay, I'm sticking with the right hand rule because this would be a real easy one to get turned around in. Yep, 
and it drops down to another level here and there's another giant stope over there before I drop down another level well I was gonna say before I drop down another level I want to go finish this one but I'll just look here real quick so I can know what is coming up ahead and I guess it's still running up there ah Man, how do I? I always end up getting distracted. Looks like a mucker, possibly, right there. And collapse right here. And runs off that way. Well, I knew I was going to do this. Now that I'm down here, I'll do right hand rule to check out this mucker, I think. I think it's a mucker got track instead of wheels, which is interesting. I have not seen that before. Yeah, it is a mucker. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I have not seen a tracked mucker before. And this comes into more massive stopes. And Mercifully, mercifully stops right here so I don't have to keep going forever but you can see this is a massive stove it looks like it goes forever and you see a drift taken off there and I don't know if you can tell or not but there's water running down there so obviously that is connecting to something up above so I'll head back up to the, uh, the level I dropped down from. Oh wait, I think I still have to go this way. All right, there's that mucker there. And this is where I originally dropped down to this level from. And yes, I realize I have not explored over on this direction yet. Interesting collapse right here. See, it's just levels and drifts all around us. It's really, really hard to keep track of all this. See a lot of backfill here, there, and over here. I hear some rushing water ahead. Ah, there is a. Uh, what do we have here? We have an abrupt drop off to a pit here. A pit full of water. And some kind of chute here in front of us. All right, so we have actually finally completed a level of this mine. That is a great feeling. So I will uh, go back and rejoin you over there on top. Okay, that's looking down on the level that we just completed. And there was still a fair amount of stuff on this level for us to check out. I did the right hand rule here. And so I went down, I went down that one, but now we have this one. Again, drift, huge pillar, another drift area cleared out up there. This is just nuts. Seems like we've lost our track. And okay, this just stops. All right, we just came from exploring that direction. Over there is where we came in originally. And our next right hand turn takes us this way, over there. I've got several lights going, but the colors in here are so dark and everything is so spacious that it's very difficult to light everything up. Fair amount of uh, 
gob in here. Oh, what do you know? Another uh, another pit going down that way. Get some old hose up there. And okay, this stops here at the edge of this stope. And check this out. Look at that wheelbarrow up there. How cool is that? Very, <laughs> very, very cool to see that. So there's still a wheelbarrow in the stope. That stope that ends here. We looked up into this one uh, from over on the other side. So there you have it. Okay, I'm back at these rusty stairs. For the sake of completeness, I will uh, drop down and see if there's anything down there. Okay, those are the stairs. I just came down. Just some more steps right here. And I don't want any statements to the fact that I am not through. So I came all the way down here just for that. So time to head back up to the original level and we'll push on from there. All right, I'm back at the original level now and that's where I took off and started this original huge diversion. So back on track again. Literally, see the track right there. And so we've got something here on the right. Big pit here. I'm not gonna practice the right hand rule and jump down there on this section. I'm sure we'll probably see a way down there later. Um, let's see, there's another section. Here. Okay, this is that winds. The winds we went into tied into this winds here, if that makes sense. In other words, we came from the left there and tied into this one here. They went down there and then you can see the ore cart at the bottom there. Um, so you can see behind me here is the winch that they used to haul the, uh, the ore carts up the winds here. So that's really cool. I, I just am blown away by how well preserved this mine is. It's really, really awesome to see this. So continuing on, see a bunch of cord right there. Continuing on, they still put out above us. Um, it looks like there's a large pit here right in front of us. The track keeps wrapping around that way. I'm just gonna see if this pit is anything of significance. Oh, you know what? We were down there a moment ago. We were exploring around there. We went down that winds. This is the area we hit before. So this is one of those upper drifts. And I'll just poke down here real quick to get a different angle of it. Lots of little uh, pockets for us to fall down. Over here as well. See some uh, nice gobbing right there. And, all right, this is getting pretty sketchy. Um, there's just a little walkway here in this undercut. And that drops quite a way down. I'm by myself, so I think I'm gonna stop here and go down the main, uh, main hallway or main adit, main drift, whatever. Um, I think it just went to the edge of the, uh, the stope over there and stopped anyway, since we looked up and I believe saw the edge of it. So I will pick up, again, this is that stope we saw, we checked out before. I'll pick up back where we just left off. All right, that's the area I just stuck my head down and we're back on the main track here. I noticed there's a scaling bar to my right here. Fairly large one. And let's continue that way. See some, uh, looks like miners graffiti. It is with carbide, but I can't tell what any of it says. I'll clean out a pocket overhead here. Nice echo, 
very nice echo. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera, but there's a very good echo here, which I like. Looks like there might be a junction or something up ahead. Either there was a collapse here or they took some material out there. And yes, there is a junction here. A large one. Uh, okay. We've got stuff running off that way. Looking back this way. Goes there. There's all kinds of stuff down there. And looks like there's something here as well, even. A little stope there. And then runs off that way too. I'm gonna I'm gonna be stubborn, I'm gonna stick with the main the main uh, run of track here. So I'm gonna keep pushing deeper into the mine. There's a, uh, a raise right there. And something here, bottom of a raise here. It goes up there. Looks like there, yeah, okay, looks like there was an ore shoot here at one time. There's not much left of it now. Behind me, the large opening here that drops down. One has to be very careful when I'm walking in this mine and not get distracted by ore shoots like this one. There's a lot of material that's come down up there. And again, got some timbers here and large openings down there. We may have been looking up here from down there before. Um, it seems like we might have pushed in far enough to do that. There's more down there. And got a big pillar in front of me here and stopes to my right I go up for a long way and again monster stopes up there and a huge pillar here. Lots of stuff dropping off to the right, excuse me, to the left. I don't know if we uh, looked up to this stuff before or not. Another huge pillar worth mentioning right there. More of these um, giant stopes on the left. I see they, uh, <laughs> They just absolutely hauled this mountain out. I mean, this is just nuts how much stuff they took out of here. Just runs all through here, these stopes do. And then uh, another big pillar in front of me here. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. We have a trammer abandoned inside the mine here. Man. That is really cool. Look at this trammer. Oh, it's even got all the ore carts attached still. This is unreal. This would be like finding the Holy Grail in the States. And a mine on public land. That is just freaking awesome. Wow. 
Here's the inside of that trammer. You see the operator, of course, would have sat there. And uh, use these controls here. His feet would have gone there. I think this is too rusted for me to see a uh, man. Sorry, the mud's uh, really sticky here. I think it's just too rusted for me to see a manufacturer's plate, unfortunately. But I will try and uh, make the effort. O and K. Don't know if that's just the engine or the trailer itself. Here's a view from where the operator would have been. And then of course, there are shot these ore carts running off and looks like we've got giant cribbing right there each one of those is probably 10 feet long so that's <laughs> enormous but uh, everything in this mine seems to be pretty enormous more stopes running out of there and there's a cement pillar right there it looks like there's a bunch of stuff up there and then, of course, behind me, there are uh, more stopes running off in all directions. It's unreal.